Hey, so today I just wanted to share with you this little recursive growth system that I've come up the other day. It's pretty simple and it's easy to mess around with. The first thing you need is an eye stop, just to make some random white areas. Plug it into a threshold, increase the threshold level all the way up to 1. Now we have these nice white spots surrounded with nothing. The next thing you want to do is to increase the noise resolution and set it to 32-bit float pixels. If you want these areas to be smaller, just decrease the offset of the noise stop. And if you want more of those, you can also decrease the period. Now we've got everything to start, let's connect it into a feedback top. And also add a keyboard in shop to make it reset the feedback once we need it. Connect the noise into a threshold top and set the threshold to 0.7. Depend it with a blur and leave it as it is. Now we need to make another branch that goes in parallel. Start off with a blur, set the pre-shrink to 3 to blur it even more, then goes another threshold that's gonna be 0.4. Like with any other values in a feedback loop, I've come up with this throughout many iterations and I'm gonna show you how to tweak them to get different results. Now, add a composite top, plug both branches in and set the operation to subtract. We need to get rid of these black areas inside and the best way of doing that is to add a level top and set the brightness to 2. To finish this setup, we need another composite top. Connect the feedback top and set the operation to over. Now just drag the composite onto the feedback to start the reaction. It draws a bit too regularly, so you can decrease the first threshold to get a bit more organic look. You can try different blur types to get different results. Another option is to increase this blur's filter size to get larger branches and make it grow even faster. If you tweak this blur size, it's gonna result into less regular shapes and also a bit more spacing. You can also add another threshold in the end and play with it to get different growth patterns. So now this thing grows until it fills all available space and then it stops. And to make it go kind of forever, you, you can... Oh, let's first move these operators down to make this line a bit more readable. And now what you can do is to add a bit of blur. It instantly blurs everything out, so maybe just decrease the sample step as well as filter size for it to be a bit more gentle. And after the blur, insert a math top. In the multi add tab, set the multiply to 0.98. And again, if you want to tweak the behavior of the system, you can go and change those blur and threshold values on the fly. Now, let's get rid of the blur and math tops we've just added. And if these white spots look a bit too boring for you, you can always start with something different, like a text top or a movie file in. Just make sure that you've changed the resolution and set it to 32-bit float, and that your image has enough contrasty areas too. That's it for this system. Uh, like I've said, it's just the basics, so go experiment with it. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and if you want more people to see my tutorials. Also, if you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon with some more project files and a couple of special tutorials. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.